uh, MIP reformats. First of all, you kind of want to center the head so that you're working with something that's easier to work with here. The atomic sign will make you move up and down, left, right, all that stuff. If you want to curve the head up, if you move up, you could see that the atomic sign changes to a circle in which you can go side to side. All right, so you want to make sure that the person is looking at you just about like that first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bone go over here to your chevron little general sign here um, we're always going to be working on the left side here so we want to go to skull removal bone removal is only for anything from below the neck if you're going to be doing a an angio of the abdomen and pelvis or a runoff, something of that nature, you use the bone removal. Skull removal is strictly for head neck type work. Um, so we're gonna go to skull removal and because it's so dumb we have to tell it to remove the skull again and once you click that it's going to remove your bone. It'll show you please wait at the bottom um, and it usually takes a little while for that to do that. It'll get to about 90, 91% and it usually takes a little bit of a break. So when it's not changing over and doing the little thing that it shows you that the bone is being subtracted, just wait until that happens. And we'll come back and show you the vessels after the bone has been removed. Great. Okay, now we can see that the bone has been removed to the head and the neck. Forgot to mention before, the way that we bring this up um, is before we get to any of this, you take your thins from the bottom of the screen where it says thin, coronal, sagittal. You just highlight the thin in blue and then you load it up into this little vessel. It's on the previous pages before, but that's the AVA. Once you take the thins and click on AVA, that's how we got to the bone that we saw before. And then we went to bone removal, remove bone, and then it'll bring us to this. So what we want to do is, even though this looks nice, we want to MIP this out, black and white. So we go down to the bottom here where it says Vol Ren, that's your volume rendering. You're gonna click on that, and then you're going to MIP that out. Looks a little white, um, so what we want to do is we want to play with the contrast and make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing for the radiologist. So we just take this little white ball on our mouse and instead of rolling it up and down, we're going to push it down. And when you push it down, you can make it brighter, darker if you go up and down. And then you can also go side to side and play with the contrast a little bit more, bring it out. You want something that looks a lot like that. So from here, we can just kind of recenter this. You can see the falks in the center, just kind of correct that, make it, make it a little more up and down, nice looking. And remember, we're working left to right. We want to make things happen. And if we want to make things happen, batch is your best friend for that. So what we want to do first, you can do the head first, you can do the neck first. Some people do whatever works for you. I do it like this. Uh, I do batch because I want to spin it left to right. So we're going to batch. And then here's our boxes to let us know that we can do that. You can go right to left, left to right, whatever you're fancy. I'm just going to click this one. If you see 20 images, you should be good. If you wanted to check what you're doing, you could go to this little eye with the window. That's your preview. So we'll click on that just to see if what we got is good. You can see it left to writing, very nice. All right, we keep the brain attached to that one, of course, because we wanna see everything in its entirety. We're gonna clip that away on the next round. So from here, we could save it here, or we could save it here, but since we're in here, we could just save it. You actually have to name it if you want uh, to left, sorry, left to right and EDCT is already selected because that's where our destination of these images is going to so we're going to okay that excellent now it looks a little cockeye we can kind of center it a little bit better now we want to get rid of the head so we can do a, a head tumble A to P 
P to A, anterior to posterior, whatever you want to call it. I usually click on this little undo button just to make sure everything is erased. I click on that. If you ever have your boxes not highlighted, hitting that button will make everything blue again. So we want to clip this head. Like I said, you could do that first, you can do it now, it doesn't matter. Clip, and we're going to work again from left to right. And the only two boxes we're concerning ourselves with is this box, which is the target volume box, and this box, which is the hide and show box. So that's going to give us our yellow bucket that we can insert the brain in. And you're going to work through basically these two here. You raise this up to include the head. This looks good over here. This looks good over here. This is getting a little close, so you can open this up a little bit more if you want. And then we want to eliminate the carotids. You can do it here. I like to do it here because it's a nice sagittal view. You can bring it up right to the bottom. You're going to see a little bit of carotids there. That's okay. It's going to happen. So how do we get rid of this? Well, we're going to go to our hide show box. Let's clip that. That makes our yellow box disappear. Go back to it. I'm sorry? Go back to it. Go back to the yellow box. Hide show box. There you go. Oh, yeah. That box right there. Click that box. Boop. Makes it disappear. Without hitting that, your brain's just going to tumble out of, out of the picture. When you do that, it specifies where it needs to tumble. I take my little hand down here, and I move it into the center, and then... I'm going to make things happen with my batch, all right? And we're not left to writing it this time. We're tumbling it anterior to posterior, posterior to anterior, whichever one you fancy. Um, if you want to make this bigger, you can also use the zoom right here or the double buttons, whatever you prefer. Make it a little bit larger. Make sure you always go back to your cursor there just so if you start touching things, and then we're gonna click, just like that. You wanna see it, you can preview it with your little eye and window, and you'll see it stays stationary. It just tumbles, just like that. It's exactly what we're looking for. And we could either save it here or save it here. I'll just show you how to save it over here. After just checking it out, we can cancel. And over here is the save button, whatever one you prefer. Just name it. A to P or tumble, whatever you want to call it. And EDCT is already selected because that's where we got our images from. Okay, boom. You saw the 20, that's good. So now we want to work backwards. And again, I always like to click the undo button. Kind of brings you back, your boxes come back. Um, now we're gonna work backwards instead of left to right. We're gonna go back to clip because that's what we did to get ourselves here. So we're gonna click clip. You go to your hide show box. You click the hide show box. And then you're gonna click this box, which is the target volume box that you first clicked. You click that, that brings everything back. You can shrink it up a little bit if you want. Um, you can move it a little bit to make it a little bit more what it was to begin with but it doesn't matter. Whatever you do next, it just goes right into it. This is where you're concerning yourself with next. You wanna do your vessel extraction. So you're gonna click on this little arrow right here. Click the arrow. And you can see all the vessels that are caught right here. If you're not able to get to this point, or even if in the beginning it says, Vessels not seen, you have to use manual tools to do so. Just shut this computer down. Sometimes it just needs a kick in the butt just to let you know that I'm just redoing everything and then it should work for you again. So as we work left to right, we're gonna work top to bottom. This is a list, make sure you're at the top. Your RIC is gonna be first. Very important, again, left to right. You're gonna work from here, and then you want to select either this box or this box down here. Don't select this one. When you select it, just click on it. You'll see a blue box come. As if I select this one, you'll see the blue box down here. 
you have to be in one of these boxes, just stay in the middle one. It's a surefire bet that it's going to work. So then we go from here. We got RIC. This is selected. We can now do our curved NPRs. We go to our general sign. We want to make things happen. So we go to batch. And then it's a preset that's already built in right here. So we just click that down arrow and it'll say curved NPR. Click curved NPR. You want to make sure that it'll actually focus in on the vessel and what you're doing is correct. It's, it's going to work if your box is selected over here or over here. If this is selected, it's not going to work. If this is selected, it's not going to work. But if you want to preview what you did, just check it out. Preview it. You can see the vessel. It's turning around. It looks good. We can save it from here or we can save it from here. We'll go ahead and save it from here just so you can see both. We just click on the save. We don't have to name it. It is already named for us. We don't have to write like we wrote A to P or uh, left to right. Um, the destination folder should be selected already, EDCT. And then we just OK it. And now it's just repetitive from here on in. You don't have to hit this undo button here because you're just kind of doing the same thing over and over. You can go to the general sign. Vessel extraction brings up our next vessel LIC our box over here is still selected in blue go to our general sign we want to make things happen batch then we click on our preset curved NPR we see 20 images that's always a good sign you can preview it if you want we'll preview it just to see we can see the vessel is highlighted. I'll show you that we can save it from down here this time. I think that's what we can't remember. Oh no, I did. I saved it from there from last time. We'll cancel out of this. We'll go over here. This is the other save area. It's still named. I'm just going to put in there, if you don't see that name, that means that you did not select one of those two boxes on the other, on the right side on the right side that is correct if you don't see if you don't select this box or this box this one or this one it will not name your vessel and again it's all just cookie cutter stuff from here on in you don't have to hit the undo button here I just like to do it in the beginning I'm gonna go to your general Chevron sign vessel extraction right external carotid my box is still highlighted batch preset of curved NPR 20 images you can preview it if you want or you could just save it. I'll save it right external carotid EDCT okay then we're back to here vessel extraction LEC selected batch curved NPR Pre, uh, we're going to save that. Okay. Vessel extraction. Right vertebral. Batch. Curved NPR. Save. It's named right vertebral. Vessel extraction. Always make sure that you go down to make sure you got everything, especially with the runoffs. There's a lot of vessels to do. This is only six. So once you get to the last one here, you know you're good. Batch, curved NPR, 20 images. We can preview it if we want, just like we did before. Spins nice, save, and okay. Now from here, we're done. Those are the things that you're concerned with. You're just rotating left to right. You're going anterior to posterior with just the brain only. Then you go over to vessel extraction and you do your six vessels with the, with your uh, head neck angio or just a neck angio. You do it with a regular, just a head angio too. Um, if, if you're just doing a head angio, it's always good to include a little bit of carotids. Um, and then from there, we wanna make sure that we got our vessels. So down here, you can exit out. Don't reset, it'll just reset 
exactly what you did. So we're going to exit.